Hey guys, Chris Hancock here with Sideline Power. Today we're going to do a little bit of troubleshooting with our motorized pan tilt system. So one of the most frequent questions we get uh, uh, on our support line is that the manual pan tilt system doesn't have power. So uh, biggest thing is number one, make sure that you have fresh batteries in your motorized pan tilt system. So we send them with, with non-rechargeable batteries because rechargeable ones, you know, there can be some issues that they get recharged, they not get recharged, are they going bad? So we always send them with just standard batteries. So what you're going to do is you're going to open up the cover here. And the second issue that we run into is batteries being placed in the wrong orientation. So there are actually pictures on each of the battery areas showing you which way the battery should be facing. So starting on the left here, this one's supposed to be going down. Second one is supposed to go up. Third one down. Fourth one up. The other issue that we run into a lot of times is that these little metal strips up here that contact with the batteries, sometimes they get mashed up against the case. So you wanna make sure that those are pulled out a little bit away from the case, make sure you have a good connection. So I'm gonna demonstrate putting the batteries in real quick. First one goes down. Next one, make sure that the tip is up, down, and up. Close the case, lock it in place, and you got power and you're ready to go. All right, now that we have the batteries in, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and turn this thing on. And uh, we have our on off switch right here and we're gonna switch it up to M, which is manual control. And I wanna make sure that this is at 170. Now, right now it's sitting at 265. So what I'm gonna do to get this to rotate over to that 170 is I'm gonna switch this same button that goes from off to M. I'm gonna switch it from M manual to A automatic. And the camera's gonna rotate. It's gonna start rotating right. So we're gonna go increase in our numbers. And then once it gets all the way to the far right, then it's gonna come back to uh, the left and it's gonna decrease numbers. And I wanna, I wanna get it to stop at 170. Now to get it to stop at 170, I'm just gonna keep an eye on this and I'm gonna put my finger on this lever so that it, when it gets to 170, I can switch it from automatic to manual. Otherwise it's just gonna keep spinning. right there. So now I'm at 170. I make sure this, this is on manual. I've got my power on and I'm ready to go. For full manual function of the motorized pan tilt, you want to make sure that you're set to 340 degrees. That's going to get you the most range of motion. And you also want to be on manual, not automatic. Automatic is just going to keep panning. Manual is where you're going to be able to use the remote control and adjust the pan and the tilt. One of the other issues we get a lot is that this pan tilt remote isn't working. And there's a couple different reasons for that. Uh, number one, it might not be fully plugged in. It might not be secured in the, in the port up here on the motorized pan tilt, but it, it could also be the extension, right? There could be something wrong with the extension. So to test it, what we want to do is we want to remove the remote from the extension and just plug it directly into the port. Make sure it's secured. Okay. Plug it directly in. Now, if I am able to move the motorized pan tilt with the remote directly plugged in, I know it's something wrong with the extension. Either it's not plugged in all the way or there's something wrong with the cord itself. If I'm not able to move the motorized pan tilt like I'm doing now, then we know that there's actually something wrong with the remote and we can get you out a new one.